Hello and welcome to a special bonus episode of FIFA Millionaire, the quiz show that can make you, the audience, a FIFA millionaire in just 15 questions. Today, in the hot seat, we have FIFA YouTuber and streamer coming all the way from Derby, England. It is the usual host of Who Wants to Be a FIFA Millionaire, the one and only Luke Pingu. How are you doing, mate? I'm doing all right. I'm quite excited to see how well I do today because obviously... As the host, I can kind of research and know what I'm going to do, whereas this time, um, well, I'm completely blind. I'm hoping at least I can get, well, the dream is to get 12k. Whether I can do that or not, we'll have to wait and see. Um, obviously, the main dream is to get to 100,000 somebody, but you got to be realistic with your dreams. That was going to be my question before the questions, was how well do you think you would do? So you've answered that for us already, so you're off to a good start, mate. It's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> I've already I've already thought this through, don't worry. <laughs> You've done this before, oh, I can yeah. tell. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty used to this now. Um, it'll be interesting to see what kind of questions you put in as well, uh, because usually I put like a couple of fo football-related ones. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to see. The yeah. quiz master has been planning well. We've got some good questions. There is 15 questions, three lifelines, and a possible 100,000 FIFA points to be won. Best of luck, Pingu. Let's play Who Wants to Be? A FIFA millionaire. Question number one for a possible 100 FIFA points. Which YouTuber has won the most FIFA points on who wants to be a FIFA millionaire? Is it A, Pieface, B, It's James, C, FootFG, or D, Capgun Tom? Now, the interesting thing about this is that Pie's actually got more questions correct. Um, but obviously the correct answer is Captain Tom. He did walk away with that 25,000 on the very first episode. Um, so yeah, I'll lock in that as my final answer. Correct. That is one of your people points. You have not done the first question, but well done, mate. Question number two for 200 FIFA points. Which popular TV show and video game did I make a FIFA series based on? Is it A, Digimon? B, Pokemon, C, Yu-Gi-Oh, or D, Tomb Raider? Wait, have I misheard the options? Would you like me to go through them again? Yeah. Which popular TV show and video game did I make a FIFA series based upon? Is it A, Digimon, B, Pokemon, C, Yu-Gi-Oh, or D, Tomb Raider? I don't know why, but the first time around I didn't hear Pokemon, so... Yeah, um, I'm going to go that as my final answer. Um, for some reason, I just heard Digimon and then went Yu-Gi-Oh! and just completely blanked out on the Pokemon. But yeah, I'm going to go Pokemon FIFA as the final answer. He's sweating it already. It's only question two, and he's sweating it in the hot seat. I'm already bottling it straight away, and uh, we're already on question two, so really can't wait to see how well I do. And you've got 200 FIFA points as well. That, that, honestly, my heart dropped because I just didn't hear I just didn't listen properly, basically. Um, so I need to be on my A-game with listening. You need to be on your A-game. See, the audience, the viewers, the people who benefit from this, probably watch this and think, I could get 100,000 FIFA points every single time. And it's not until you're in the hot seat that you realise that it's actually quite difficult. It's the dead silence and, as well. It's like, yeah. there's no, like, the music there and everything. Um, it's the same with every FIFA series. The one that always gets me is Seven Minute Squads. When you're sitting there watching a YouTube video and you, you can pause the video and think about the squad as much as you want, it's really easy. When you're trying to make a video, talk, be entertaining, and design a stupid-ass hybrid, it's hard. It's hard. Question number three, then, for 300 FIFA points. Which of these is not a foot promo? Is it A, rule breakers, B, shapeshifters, C, ultimate scream, or D, thrillers? I believe the correct answer is Thrillers, because I really don't remember that promo at all. Um, obviously, Shapeshifters is where they change position. So, to be honest, all three of those that are promos are quite similar. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the correct answer, I assume, is Thrillers. Correct. You've got 350 points. Things are now really heating up as we move on to 500 FIFA points. Question four. Footies cards are traditionally what colour? Is it A, pink, B, blue, C, orange, or D, yellow? 
My team of the season is in cards are blue. Man of the matches are orange. I don't know if this. Well, I assume yellowy gold is kind of what the base cards are. So I'm going to go pink as my final answer. Correct. They are indeed pink. You've got 500 FIFA points. That's a nice question, that is, because I've not had like that kind of, I don't know, different style um, before. Question number five for 750 FIFA points. The final question before you get a chance to guarantee yourself 1,000, Luke. Hopefully I get there. <laughs> Has anyone got zero yet? Uh, Rob, homeless penguin. Oh he dear. Went, he went out on the 1,000 uh, question. <gasps> Do you know what, can you remember what the question was? Um, it, you know the milestones um, players, so there's like MLS Championship and Eredivisie. The question mm -hmm. was which one came out first? Do, do you even know that question? Do you know that? I don't. That's a hard thousand pound yeah, question. That, I, like hindsight, I do think it's quite difficult, but obviously I'm quite, I don't know, obsessed with that area of the milestone. So I knew straight away that it was MLS, but turns out Rob didn't know it and went with championship. That's deep. That is deep. Yeah. I, feel, I kind of feel sorry for him a little bit, but hopefully I can get him back on eventually. <laughs> Which of these Arsenal Invincibles has never had an icon or legend card in foot? Is it A, David Seaman, B, Freddie Lundberg, C, Jens Lehmann, or D, Martin Keown? Well, they removed Lehmann technically this FIFA because he was on last FIFA. Seaman's quite old, to be fair. I think, I think he was on, like, 17, 18. It's been a while since he's been on FIFA. Um, and then the other one was Martin Keown and who was the other one? So we've got B, Freddie Lundberg, Lundberg. or D, Martin Keown. So Lund Lundberg, again, quite, I think, I don't think he's been on for the last couple of FIFAs, but yeah, it's uh, Martin Keown as the final answer. Correct. You've got 750 FIFA points. That's, that's a good one, that is. I like, I like that. Because you could do that with different clubs and stuff like that. I was trying to think of, I had many variations of it. I was going to say which of these hasn't been an icon, which I guess is the same thing. And I had Teddy Sheringham, Robbie Fowler, somebody else who's like proper and obvious that you would know is an icon but I was struggling to think of a footballer of the similar in a similar vein yeah that's the I, I can't remember if I to, to be like one that you think oh he's probably an icon but he actually wasn't so that was what I was struggling with like Teddy Sheringham had an icon card that's crazy so I thought that was a good like you had to know that mm. or it might have even been called a legend back then you had to know so I could have done like Carragher Neville Sheringham and then a random so then Robbie Fowler's got one as well. All of them, the fact that they've all got one is kind of mad to me. Yeah. But then I was struggling to think of another footballer of a similar vein that doesn't hasn't had one that it wasn't super obvious. But anyway, anyway, we, we came up with the Invincibles question instead. Are you ready for your 1,000 FIFA point question? The chance to guarantee 1,000 FIFA points. I've got all three lifelines as well, Andy, so hopefully I can get there. You have. Wait, am I paying for these FIFA points? Are you still paying for these FIFA points? I don't, I don't know. That's that's the interesting thing, because you're the host. I don't know who's actually paying. I am the host, but I am doing you a favour as well, so you know. <laughs> I guess I'm paying then. <laughs> okay. Which Spanish Team of the Season player did Alp 27 pack when he was caught faking <laughs> the reaction? Do I need the options? Is do you know the answer straight away? This is the question I got wrong and went out. This is the question that Tony got wrong, actually, when I phoned a friend. I, be I believe it's Borja Valero. Is it A, Borja Valero? <laughs> B, Sergio Ramos? D, Iago Aspas? No, C, Iago Aspas, or D, Gerard Piquet? It doesn't really matter. Yes, the correct answer is, of course, Borja Valero. You've got 1,000 FIFA points, which is exactly what I ended on because of that question. Lovely. I was tempted to do all of the questions that other people have got wrong, but I thought you'd probably just remember the answers. I do I do actually remember, like, when someone brings up a question, I do quite quickly remember, like, that one, it's straight in there. And I think I remember, uh, mentioned it on Atani's episode as well. Um, so that one's slightly more um, rememberable, because, well, it's, it's a nice bit of trivia. <laughs> it's a nice bit of trivia. I still can't believe he faked a Borgia Valero reaction. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. Things YouTubers used to do back in the day before they had millions of FIFA points. <laughs> Thousand FIFA points for you though, Pingu. You proud of yourself? You're not last. I'm not last, so I could take some pinch of salt with that. You know, I could say I've done slightly well, <laughs> reasonably well. There must be quite a lot of people actually on a thousand FIFA points just because they've worked their way up to like question eleven and then got it wrong. Yeah, that's the thing. I could get the next like five questions right and still end up with a thousand. 
And yeah. I'm thinking of like, I don't know, maybe having the safety net as like an option so you can choose where to put it. Um, so moving it away from a thousand. But I think for the time being, I'll keep, I'll keep the format how it is. Okay. Season two is staying the same. People yeah. are just coming back for a second go. <laughs> maybe and you need to people. think of all of the questions again. <laughs> yep. So I wrote, Brilliant. I'm trying to think, so it's 14 times 15, whatever that was. That's how many questions I wrote on season one. Wow. Should we move in to your first question above 1,000 FIFA points? Question number seven for 2,000 FIFA points, which I'm sure you know the answer to now. How many episodes of Who Wants to Be a FIFA Millionaire <laughs> has there been? I can't believe I've just like answered the question before the question even came up. Unbelievable, that, that, mate. That is this is some... how good you are at this. Yeah. Is it A13, B14, D15, or D C? I, why can't I count it? I keep going I always, a, do, B, I always do that. I always go mix the C's and D's around. I don't know why I do it, but yeah. <laughs> is it A13, B14, C15, or D16? Well, you've been quite mean with this, Andy, because if I didn't know that it was 14, I'd have had to go through and remember every single episode. Exactly, but you're the host, mate, and you should know. But I do know, and it is uh, 14, of course, and that'll be my final answer. And that will be 2,000 FIFA points. Well done. The thing is, though, Andy, because I did Tom's last week, it's technically 15, but that video is not live yet on YouTube. It's not uploaded. It's no. on your channel. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because of the time of recording... Um, that's the thing with a lot of the questions. When EA bring out something new on like a Friday or a Wednesday, some of the questions do change by the time it gets uploaded. And that's uh, a little bit frustrating at times. It's the magic of editing though, isn't it? People need to know that you can't upload a video as soon as you've finished recording it. Yeah, especially these millionaires. Sli yeah, slightly, yeah. Takes ages. <laughs> what rating is the lowest rated card in FIFA 21? Is it A, 41, B, 42, C, 46, or D, 47? Ooh, that's a, that's a very, very tricky... Ugh. My inkling is low 40s. I do have three lifelines, and I think this is the kind of question... I, I don't know the answer, so I should use a lifeline. The 50-50 is not going to help me because that just doesn't do anything. So I think it's going to have to be asked the audience. Um, okay. And hope they know because I don't have a clue. Do you want to send it out on your Twitter or do you want me to do it on mine? Do you want me to tweet it out for you? Yeah. Can you reply a poll? You can. Okay. Pingu has chosen to ask the audience for 3,000 FIFA points. The question was put to the audience on Twitter. What is the lowest rated card on FIFA 21? 20% said 41. 23.9% said 42. 30.4% said 46. And 25.6% said 47. It's not very helpful to be honest with you, mate. It's Have not. you ever had uh, asked the audience that close before? Um, I think we did with ex with uh, Dettinio, with Alfie. I think there was, I think he had like 33, 33, 33, and then, well, it was like 30, 30, 30, and then the other one was like 8% or something. So, they so are- 25, 24, 20, 30. Just while this poll was going on, I was like thinking like, what have I remembered in the club and stuff like that? And I don't, I don't think it's the lower options. I, I, I doubt it's 41. I, I'd, I'd know if it was a 41 or a 42 because there's that kind of gap between the two. So I feel it's the height. Because I know for sure there's a 47. I know 100% I've seen a 47 in my club. I was doing um, Dingy yesterday, the upgrade packs. And what was it? I had to do like bronze upgrades and stuff like that. And I remember seeing 47s. Um, the question is whether there's a 46 that exists in the game. It's a big risk. I think there might be a 40. That thing is, there might be a 46. Oh. You still have two more lifelines. I do. If you wish to use them. The thing is, if the 50 50 gives me the high numbers, I, I will hate my life. Um, oh, da, 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 da. I don't think phone and friend. Well, I guess the phone and friend could just look in their club and go, oh, this is one Luke. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I 
should, I should the logic the logical thing to do is the 50 50 and hope that either 46 or 47 get removed because the audience have butchered me here I, I do not like the people that voted on it the people that have voted and I know there's people out there that won't know the answer but will have voted anyway they're the ones yep. that <laughs> uh, this is this is really important because like I need those extra lifelines to get to the 12k and if I use them on this question then I won't get to the 12k it's like that kind of but then I, if I don't get this right then I won't get to the 12k anyway um so I think I think I'm gonna have to use two lifelines on one question. I'm gonna have to be in You're that have famous to use group. Them both. <laughs> yep. If you just do a one to three. Yep, I got it. Don't number generator, and then it'll just pop you a number. So just to confirm, you are using your fifty fifty. Yep. I. Uh, the thing is, this is the kind of thing I should have researched by now. I should know what the lowest rated possible ultimate team card is. Um, because I did actually do the lowest rated inform, I think, with James. Um, and it was that Wallison inform from years ago. Um, which I think you were the photo friend on, weren't you, Andy? I think so, and I got it right, didn't I? Yeah. And that was his uh, NHS lifeline. <laughs> <laughs> that he won't have anymore. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so you're using your 50 50. Computer. Leave the correct answer and one remaining wrong answer <laughs> you've been absolutely no. scammed mate what is the lowest rated card in FIFA 21 is it C 46 or D 47 <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I hate this. The thing is, it's only like a one in three of the 50-50 being, you know, the one that I don't want it You've to You've been yeah, scammed, it. mate. Been... Min, max, three, and it picked three. I know for sure there's a 47. I People are also going to say that that has told you what the right answer is. I can... You can discard that. Discard what? Don't, don't, don't even think about it. We'll explain after the question. Okay. It doesn't, but I can already see the comments. Well, because I know there's a 47, I'm going to, I'm going to have to just lock that in. It's the You're going to gamble. You're not going to phone a friend. I'm not using three lifelines on one question. You've got 3,000 FIFA points. Oh, Jesus. That, that question will haunt me now, knowing that the lowest rated is. I, I kind of had that inkling, like, I don't know, there. The audience didn't help me. The 50-50 didn't help me. The lifelines were essentially useless, in a sense. Um, but at least I've got 3,000. <laughs> Question number nine. In KSI's original Road to Division 1 on Head to Head, what team did KSI use in his final game? Is it A, Argentina? B, Ivory Coast? C, Spain? Or D, England? Thank God for that. I was, I knew it was an African country. And I was really hoping you wouldn't say Nigeria. So the final answer has got to be Ivory Coast because obviously like Jovino, Drogba and stuff like that. Final answer? Final answer. You've got 4,000 FIFA points. This is incredibly old. Like, how many years ago was that series, the Race to Division wow. 1? Like, nine? I, I watched him on, um, what's it, Celebrity Bake Off last night. <laughs> I remember watching this guy doing Race to Division 1 and stuff like that. It's um, crazy, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, nine, nine years, I don't know why. It's just like iconic. It's just like he like built this scene up so much back in the day. We're starting to head towards some serious money now, mate. We are indeed. And I've still got Question the lifeline. Question 10. So you do still have a lifeline. Question 10 is for 5,000 FIFA points. Erdegaard has a team of the season at which of these clubs? Is it A, Arsenal? B, Real Madrid? C, SC 
here in Vien. Or D for Tessie. What was the final one? You just cut out slightly. Vitesse. Vitesse. Oh. I was really hoping you'd say Real Sociedad. But he had the he future does have a there. team of the season at Real Sociedad. Oh, he does as well. He does as well. I thought, oh, hard. <laughs> he made this even up. I remember the Real Sociedad one. But it's between Vitesse and... Um, what was the C? SC Heerenveen is how I'm going to pronounce it. Yeah. Oh... I don't know if my phone friend will know this. Because this is kind of retro FIFA. It's one of those Dutch clubs. Definitely didn't want to have one at Real Madrid. Definitely not at Arsenal as well, because he's literally just joined. And we, you know, maybe, maybe in a couple of months' time, maybe, but <laughs> I doubt it. Um, Hervine or Vitesse? I'm just trying to remember, like, the badge and the. Norway combination on a team of season card. My thought is that it's Herenveen. But again, that could be wrong. Oh, it's definitely a Dutch club. But I don't know which. I'm trying to think. Has he ever been to Vitesse? I don't know if he's even been. I know he's been to Herenveen on loan. But I don't know if he's ever actually been to Vitesse on loan. And if he was alone, it would have been like a silver. Odegaard. Whereas Herenveen's been more recent since being at Real Madrid. I think. I think they've all been non loan from Real Madrid anyway, because he was at that Norwegian team. <laughs> oh, this is a... If I had the 50-50 for this, that would be great, because well, hopefully I wouldn't get the two Dutch teams like I did with the uh, rated one. Um, I just, I kind of see the Herenveen more being a team like I don't I don't remember him being at Vitesse I remember the Herovine more so I'm going to go that as my final answer I could be wrong but fingers crossed I'm not final answer SC Herovine yep final answer Luke you've climbed all the way up to 4,000 FIFA points. And you fell all the way back down to 1,000. It is Vitesse. Oh. You didn't use your phone a friend? Yeah, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't have known. You wouldn't have known. There's no chance that Danny Aarons knows that. What? So was it a silver team season? It was gold. 85 it was gold. rated. gold. I just don't remember. I don't. I don't know why, but I remember the Herovine Erdegaard card more. I don't know if he had different cards that year. Oh, I've butch I've, oh, I've bottled it. <laughs> oh yeah, right mid. Why do I remember the Herovine more? And he didn't even have a gold card then. <laughs> I bet I'm getting like the Real Sociedad vibes because of that like blue. Maybe. Yeah. Was that a very difficult question? Do you know what? Question Andy? number ten. It do you know what, Andy? Technically, I don't know if this was a... It was like a team of the season moments. Because it has like, yeah, it's a moments team of the season, SBC. So he wasn't... At, so it was a... you technically correct because it is a team of the season card. But it's like really niche team of the season, if that makes sense. So, so you it's very hard. So you tell me, would you like to hear it's some of the other hard. questions, seeing as how I sat in on thought of them? Yeah, we can, we can carry on. Well, we do carry on with it anyway, just to see how many I do get. What colour were the team of the year cards in FIFA 10? I assume it's black, but let, let's hear the options. Were they A, blue, B, black, C, gold, or D, red. I'm, I'm going to go black, because I'm pretty sure Rooney's... It's the team of the year, right? Team of the year on FIFA 10. Yeah, what colour yeah. were they? Yeah, they were they were black. It's a good job you can't go down from 1,000, because the team of the year is in FIFA 10. We're gold. What? <laughs> they actually... Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of FIFA 11, then. Because... Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't feel too bad for putting the Odegaard question first, then, because no. you would have out on the next one. Oh, got anyway. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's. I to be honest, why did I go black? Because I don't remember any. They were literally all 
gold cards on FIFA 10, weren't they? Because it mm-hmm. was like, like square design with like the the flags like quite big. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm not that smart about FIFA. Only when you can look up the answers for your own questions. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay. You see the answers. The twelve thousand FIFA point question would have been to lock yourself off for twelve k FIFA points. Which YouTuber was the first ever guest on Squad Builder Showdown? Is it A. Reeve? B. Capgun Tom? C. JMX? Or D. The Gamer Can? I don't know why, but my thought was Atani. But he's not in the option, so it's clearly not him. It's clearly not. <laughs> So we got Tom, Curtis, Joel, and Reeve. Reeve. I don't think it's Reeve. I don't think the phone a friend would help either. So there's no point in getting the. Ball. Danny Aaron's loved Squabble the Showdown. <laughs> yeah, but would he would he know the first ever? Maybe only, he was like seven it... back then. He was probably <laughs> coming home from school and watching. <laughs> he's only been in here for. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he does. Maybe Danny does know. Shall we, shall we get Danny? Because I don't know. I, I, it, could, it could be Tom. It could be... Let's find out if Danny Aarons is a yeah. Squabble the Showdown super fan. So you've chosen to phone a friend, Pingu, and we are now joined on the line by Mr. Danny Aarons. How are you doing, Danny? Hello, everyone. Great to be back on the in the hot seat. This time working for Pingu uh, instead of against him. So. <laughs> yep, not trying to take his money, but still trying to take his money because he's done paying for it. I ain't paying for it. I'm just helping yep. him out. He's done giving him away. Well... He's not giving this 12,000 FIFA point question away because he dropped all the... Do you want to know the questions, actually, Danny? That yeah. he dropped all the way down I'll to 1,000 right. to whoever right. you would have got them. Because he said he didn't want to use his phone a friend because you wouldn't know it. If, it. if it's anything to do with retro FIFA or an actual football question, he's done the right thing and not wasted it. Okay, maybe then. So the question he got wrong, which you've chosen not to ring you about, was Erdegaard has a team of the season at which of these clubs? A, Arsenal. B, Real Madrid. C, SC Heronveen. Or D, Vitesse. Ooh. I know I he's. Right, he, I, he, I knew Real Sociedad that had one. Yeah, that's what I. Yeah, yeah. Had a 92 rated card for Real Sociedad, no? <laughs> yeah, but this is for 10. This is question number 10 for 5,000 people. It can't be that easy. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. Can you um, repeat them, please, mate? Okay, Arsenal? No. Real Madrid? <laughs> Probably not. SC Heronveen? Never heard of him. Vitesse? <laughs> Um, I've heard of Fatesse. I, th- I think he had a he had an SBC. You no, know? is that like an SBC of a a team of the season, but not a, not a team of the season? Do you, know what, do you know what I mean? Yeah, that is the card. Oh, really? What was what was C? SC Heronveen. What was D? Vitesse. Yeah, that one. It's Vitesse. Um, yes. Final answer. <laughs> yes. Should have rang Danny Aaron's finger. Like it right. Mm. Don't feel too bad though, because he did get the next question wrong as else. So he would have went out anyway. In fairness, I didn't know it's any not like of Danny clubs. It was, it's it not was, like Danny yeah, knew. It was a stab Just, in the yeah. dark. But I knew what card a, it was. He had a better guess than you. Yeah. He had a better guess than you. I knew what you. card it was. Okay. <laughs> what colour were the team of the year cards in FIFA 10? Was his other question? Were they blue, oh, this, black, gold, or red? That's easy. It was an informed card, no? So it was black. C, C. Both got it wrong. Yeah. Ah? It was gold. It was gold, mate. <laughs> Oh, oh, well, then that's fair enough. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't have got that then. All right. <laughs> was it not, was it not in form? Was bl- no, that's that was FIFA 11. Yeah. FIFA 10, every card in the game uh, was gold. All right, fair play. However, that is not what we're here for. <laughs> I mean, we're not here for Tarfaz fast in FIFA points either, to be honest with you. He's already lost. <laughs> but we are playing on as if he hasn't, just to see how many questions he can get right. So, Danny. Hello, mate. For an imaginary 12,000 FIFA points, for a 10th question correct, which YouTuber was the first ever guest on Squad Builder Showdown. Uh, oh, I, I watched this the other day. I ain't even joking. Go on. I know it. I, I watched it the other day. You done it on, I think, I don't know who you, you it was a guy. I know who it is. It's Atani. Sorry, go on. Okay. Is it A, <laughs> Reeve, B, Capgun Tom, C, JMX, or D, the Gamer Can? Oh, wait, what? He's not even there. He's not even <laughs> there. Oh, well, it's probably Reeve then. I, feel, I swear, I saw one on because I thought that on his channel. Uh, it was it will wait. It's probably Reeve, but I mean we've got some time. Um, I don't. 
It was, who, who was I it didn't again? think it was Reeve. I think it's Reeve. It might be. It might be Reeve because it's, it's between don't... him. It who... could be Joel though. No, it I could don't be think JMX. It's... I think it's between. It's I, think, re- I honestly it's think bit... it is just Reeve. So I'm not no hesitation, mate. Reeve, final answer. Hmm. I don't know why, but JMX is like a du- like because obviously he doesn't upload FIFA anymore, and it's just a bit. That's how I see it yeah. as a question. Well, you got it wrong. I haven't answered the question no, yet. He hasn't got oh, question. oh, oh, oh! Oh, so we can, we can speak here. We this can is speak your here. expertise. We're using working together. Oh, wait, this is the one he's trying here. to get. This is the actual phone a friend question. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry, Luke. Um, yeah, I would say Reeve, mate. <laughs> You're still going with Reeve. <laughs> I, I would back. I mean, unless you can convince me otherwise, I think <sighs> it makes the most sense, right? They're, it kind you know, of they're, they're close. Well, they're all close. I, I would say Reeve, mate. But it's up to you. I'm pretty sure it's Joel. Hey, you're but I'll the, go you're with the, Danny. No, no, I'll no, go no, with no, Danny. You're the man in a hot least... seat, mate. You're the man in a hot seat. <laughs> but you I don't think Joel. It... You go, Joel, mate. If it if it if it is Reeve, I'll say I told you so. If it's Joel, you say I told you so. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good point, actually. Yeah. So it is Reeve, Joel, Tom, and Curtis. Curtis again is another one that it could be. I mean, it could two... be all of them, in all honesty. Yeah, it's a bit, it could be any of them. Um, I, I don't know why, but I'll go Joel. Final answer. If this is Reeve, mate. For 12,000 FIFA points divided by 12, because you've already lost. But <laughs> for 10 questions correct, to hit double figures in the correct answers, I can tell you, that the YouTuber who was the first ever guest on Squad Builder Showdown was... We'll find out after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to FIFA Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> where before the break, we asked Pingo and Danny who the YouTuber who was the first ever guest on Squad Builder Showdown was. And I can now confirm to you the correct answer it's JMX. Well done, yes. Pingo. You got another oh, question fair right. Fair play, fair play. Fair Told play. you so, Danny. Fair play, fair play. <laughs> I, I, don't know why, I don't know why I knew that. I can't. I, immediately, I thought a Tarny. But then when yeah. you gave me the options, I, I was like... I love how Danny shouted, I know it, it's a Tarny. I watched it the other day. I did. Yeah. I, 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 I watched the first ever one that a Tarny done. Uh, whatever. No, fair play. Because I'm, sure ta- I'm sure a Tarny gave me a story that he created Squad Builder Showdown. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sure he told me to that. a Tarny then. <laughs> the little snake. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, at least oh, I got that what right. A snake. What a snake. Well, thanks. Ten thanks. questions right, mate. Thanks anyway, Danny. No worries. Um, I mean, I got one right. I got the Odegaard one. You should have phoned me up then, mate. But I guess. But Thank you for having me. Hindsight. Good luck in no the imaginary questions from now on. <laughs> so your phone, Danny. He got the question right that you would have gone out on, and then you chose to ignore him anyway on that question and got it right yourself. But... I think I think the Erdogan for a man one, who's hosted fourteen episodes of this pingo, you're not really doing well with the tactics, mate. I'm going to be honest. But I think the Erdogan one was such a flip of like he didn't really know he didn't yeah, know okay, he didn't fair, know the yeah. answer. He knew he just the card went, though. Do you think him saying the cards would have triggered your memory? Mate, I don't know. Maybe. Question number thirteen in FIFA thirteen, Lionel Messi broke the all-time goal-scoring record in a calendar year. I had a one-of-a-kind special card that went up a rating every time he scored another goal. What rating did that card start as? Is it A, 86, B, 87, C, 88, or D, 89? Oh, I remember the card design. It was like it's the blue and red record yeah, breaker. The blue it's and a very the good card. Top, yeah. You had 99 shooting. It was a centre forward, wasn't it? I think Pretty so. Sure. Yeah. And you've been very, very mean with these numbers, Andy. This is for twenty-five thousand FIFA points, Luke. <laughs> it's my my money, though. At the end of the day, like I could, you know, I could have, I could have maybe known that it got a question, but I was like, I don't want to give away twelve k today. Um, but I think I don't know why, but eighty-six is the one calling to me. I think. So the original question that I had. Was what rating did it end up as? Yeah. I, that, I thought that was too easy. Did it end as a 90... I want to say 90... 
seven. Okay, so apparently that wasn't as easy as I thought. I thought everyone knows that Messi scored 91 goals in a calendar year. Oh, so it ended... Oh. So it ended as 91. Oh. But what did it start as? Hmm. I didn't think it ended... I thought it was much higher than that. Um, than the 91. It's a very... What, what we say, like eight years ago now? <laughs> I do. To be fair, I, remember, I remembered like other stuff that was really old, um, like the KSI one. I knew Ivory Coast straight away. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to go 86. I don't know why, but I think that's the most. I don't know. Another six. What was it? F five goals. I think you could do that. Final answer. Final answer. 86. You've got an imaginary 25,000 FIFA points. Well done. <laughs> You see, it's funny how the, the, like, the harder ones sometimes just kind of, you have that knowledge there. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I don't know why. It's a very niche thing, isn't it? If you know yeah. the niche, yeah, you're there. Yeah, I, I know my niche. Although, if I had to put um, it as like 91, 92, 96, 97, would you have gone 97? I think I would have. I, I think I would have gone for that. I thought, I thought it got upgraded much more. Question number 14 for an imaginary 50,000 FIFA points. Again, Lionel Messi themed. In the previous three FIFAs, excluding for Champs Red Picks, because they are essentially just the informed duplicated, but including every single other type, how many cards has Lionel Messi had? <laughs> now, I've been very, very mean. Is it A, 26? B, 27. No, nah, you can't put them next to each other. C, <laughs> that's, that's... 28. <laughs> or D, 29. Oh, uh, Andy, This mate. is to get to the 100,000 FIFA point question, I guess, mate. I guess. But I even... I did this with Rudy. Um, so what What are you saying? You did um, every FIFA ever. That was me. That, like, yeah, I could was... comfortably do this FIFA and FIFA 20. So It's so, the FIFA 19 knowledge that you need to make sure you get it right. Yeah. So it's In the only previous three, three, FIFAs, three FIFAs, excluding okay. Red Foot Champs cards, how many cards has Lionel Messi had? Would you like another advert break? <laughs> uh, We're honestly... going to give Mr. Pingu some time to think about this. We'll be back after the break. Now, I've done a bit of mathematics, Andy. Okay. So I know he starts as 93 on all mm -hmm. three years, right? I'm yep. pretty sure that's right. Okay. So the only possible... Sure. You could have probably had a 94 or 19 or something. But my point is that he's only got seven possible ratings then. So he's got 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Plus, I don't know this, but I assume he's had two in on top of that. So he's had nine. That's my logic anyway. There's no, there's no like way of kind of remembering because he's had so many different cards. Like, I think he had a shapeshifter one year. I don't know if that was 19 or not, but he's had like player of the months, and then informs, and then team of the season, team of the years. Um, so it is a bit of a punt, but with my logic that he's had nine cards per FIFA on average, I'll go for 27 because that's nine times three. I don't know if that's good logic or not, but... Okay, I'm going to do a recount just to make sure I get them right. Because <laughs> that's I the thing as well. Because I made these questions <laughs> last you... night. Because imagine if In Messi... In fact, we'll got... we can break it down for the people. We can break it down for the people. So, you should be able to do this year. Even I can do this year. I don't even know if I could do this year. Too. Okay, so you've got his normal card. He's got player of the month this year. Team yep, of the year he's got his year. play of the month, he's got a team of the year, he's got his normal card, he's got his blue UCL card, that is the same thing again. Oh, the UCLs as well. That's... Yep, and he's got his um, team of the group stage. So he's got six cards this year. So FIFA 21 is quite easy, he's got six. I've not even thought about that, actually. That Because we're not at the end of this FIFA yet, he's therefore got less on average, yep. if that makes Yeah. But then again, the 20 set, you know, it's 26, 27, so it's only one difference if, I, if I'm going wrong anyway. Okay, so he's got six cards on FIFA 21. On FIFA 20, he again has his, this time he's 94, so he's not 93, so that logic is out the window. 
He's got his 94 normal card, UCL card. He's then got an inform and a Team of the Year nominee that is 95 rated. Oh, not a nominee, Andy. <laughs> yep. He's got a Player of the Month, a Team of the Group Stage, and a Shapeshifter that is 96 rated. He's got a Team of the Week Moments and a Player of the Month that is 97 rated. And he's got a Team of the Season and a Team of the Year that is 99 rated. So that is 11 cards on FIFA 20. And then on FIFA 19, he's got his normal 94 rated card. In FIFA 19, the blue UCL cards actually went up a rating. So he's got a 95 rated centre forward UCL card. That is just his like normal boosted blue card. <clears throat> he's got a right wing team of the group stages. That's 95 rated as well. He's got a striker in form at 96. He's got a right wing in form at 97. He's got a UCL man of the match, I think that is, 98. A team of the season, 99. A team of the year, 99. And another UCL man of the match, I think that is, team of the knockout stages, whatever it is, at 99. But he's got three 99s. <laughs> he's got three 99s on FIFA 19. Oh. And that is a total of nine cards. Bringing our total to 26. I'm sorry, mate, you got it wrong. Oh. Do you know what? Do you know what messed me with that? Is that we're not at the end of this FIFA yet. So, on my logic of nine per year, I don't know. That's that's what I went with anyway. There was, there was no way I was going to remember like all those different UCLs. And, um, that's fair. I did, that's fair. I did remember the shapeshifter, to be fair. But I think people like when, especially I've done this in the past with like Rudy on every FIFA. And that's quite difficult, whereas this is actually relatively doable. Maybe if you did, like, just two FIFAs. I like think two Ronaldo. FIFAs was too easy. Like, I could do two FIFAs. Yeah. I think the thing I would have forgot about was his second player of the month and his team of the week moments were the two cards I wouldn't have remembered from last year. But otherwise, like, you know he's got his two team of the years at 99, his team of the year, his team of the season. You know, he has his shapeshifters. You know, he get, always gets the blue card for the UCL. You know, he gets an informer too. You know, I was, I I was close. I was one away. Yeah. <laughs> you were one away. You were, one away. you were very, very close. With my logic of nine times three, literally, that's all I kind of went on, on that basis. Yeah. Um, and it nearly got there. But it's, it it's like, there. it's a 50, you've got to think like, this is like worth about 300 pounds. So you've got to make this question difficult. And that's, that's what people don't quite understand at times. Um, you can't put the numbers next to each other. It's too hard. Well, yeah, that's literally the point, mate. This is the second to last question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so the final question for 100,000 FIFA points was sent in by none other than Curtis Morton, the gamer can. Can't wait for this. I asked him for a sample question. We've ended up using it. It is incredibly niche, but he did say that you were there for 100,000 FIFA points. Question 15. This is a quote from Curtis as well, by the way. <laughs> when famous YouTuber Curtis Morton first got access to the 95 rated Joey Barton card, what color hat prompted community manager Rob Hodson to tweet, wow, that hat. <laughs> Do you remember this? Oh, uh, I remember that. I remember the bit about the hat, but I don't remember what colour. But hopefully, the options give me that. I don't know. Kind of unlock the knowledge. But What's that was the very... hat? A, blue. B, black. C, red. Or D, yellow. Okay, this is an Arsenal fan. So I'm thinking red. I don't think black's that kind of... You wouldn't tweet about, oh, he's got a black hat on. That's not really, you know, standout colour. Um, so it's between red and yellow. And I remember, I'd, I'm pretty sure Curtis had a red hat. I'm pretty sure. He had some red chinos. <laughs> <laughs> and a dugout for a crossbar. <laughs> Shout out to Curtis. I'm trying to remember. I was going to, I was, he told me that question. I was going to change the question to in Curtis's more, in Curtis Morton's 100,000 viewer special, subscriber special. 
what did he use as a crossbar for his crossbar challenge? It was a or, bus stop, wasn't it? No, it was a dugout, I think. Oh, it, I think it was, yeah. It looked like a bus stop kind of dugout. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or I was going to say, what colour were his chinos? All right. <laughs> <laughs> but I stuck with Curtis' the original question. Yeah. The hat, I don't... It could be any colour to me. I'm just going to go red on the logic that he's an Arsenal fan. And that's the kind of standout colour, so that'll be my final answer. Okay. Maybe for... Okay, I'm going to... Nah, that'd be well too complicated. <laughs> you should make it so that you lose points for getting the questions wrong as well, when you're working past yeah, your FIFA points. Yeah, that'll be... Because you're just guessing because it doesn't actually mean anything. Like, would you guess red if you had 50,000 FIFA points? Um, Probably not, no. No, I wouldn't just punt in the... Well, in the way I would as well, because I'd want to be that first person to get to 100,000. Um, that's That's how I go away anyway, but... Yeah, maybe that's in season two. That'd be what I do when they carry on. Make it map plus one, minus one. Yeah. So they can't just randomly guess. Because then going out on the first question and randomly guessing all of them, <laughs> probably got more chance of getting it right than actually working your way up. I don't know. Anyway, I can tell you, Mr. Pingu, that the correct answer, Curtis's red hat that prompted then community manager Rob Hodson to tweet, wow, that hat was red. Well done. I got the 100,000 right. You got the 100,000 right. <laughs> yep. Quite a few people do that, though. I don't know why the 100,000... Like, I try and make a really, like, niche question like that. Like, so, I don't know. I don't know why I remember Red. I assume because he's an Arsenal fan, that's the kind of logic I've taken away from it. Um, but I do kind of remember... I think he had a bit of white on it as well, like red yeah, and white. Yeah, it was a New York Yankees hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was I Red. Do, I do remember. <laughs> About eight years ago now. Um, but yeah, I've, I've done... Not as good as I thought. I thought I thought I'd do slightly better, but then You've again, you've mismanaged your lifelines, is what I would say. Yeah, I think I think what I should. I think the rating one. I think if Ruined I didn't you. use the t yeah. I think if I just knew, I could have just gone with the forty-seven, because I knew there was a forty-seven, and I don't remember any forty-sixes, um, because then obviously they asked the audience, and the fifty-fifty just didn't help me at all. And those lifelines would have got me the Odegaard question and, like, um, well, I don't know. Because I, I, think, I think I would have just swung with the Team of the Year one um, on FIFA 10. So that, that might have been my downfall. You've done quite well there, mate. You've not come last in the amount of questions guessed correctly. <laughs> I'm on 12 Which then, aren't I? Good. I'm on 12, right. Yeah. That's, I'll take that. You've got a 1,000 FIFA points for the viewers. And you're at least, at least you're not the worst. Who wants to be a millionaire player? I, I guess I can look at look at the bright side. Look on the bright side, mate. You're not the best, but you're not the worst, and you are the host. So you win some, you lose some, mate. You win some, you lose some. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of FIFA. Who wants to be a millionaire? If you want to go and subscribe to me, please do. <laughs> Luke will link me down in the description. <laughs> If, if there's somehow 16 of my 16,000 subs that aren't sub to Andy, then obviously go over to his channel. Um, but yes, it's been very, very... I don't know, it's nice. It's nice to flip the table and see see how I do. It's interesting, eh? Mm -hmm. I'm assuming there will be a tweet put out by Luke for you to win 1,000 FIFA points. So make sure you go and check that out. Follow him on Twitter. And Luke will see you soon for Series 2 of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire.